I'm Zina, here with a special report from WLLC News. February is Black History Month. Each week, we will spotlight African Americans who use their voices and actions to make a positive change in the world. Today, we have a double feature. Brooklyn H. will tell us about E to B. Wells and Brooklyn V. will tell us about Garrett Morgan. Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells was born to enslaved parents in 1862 in Mississippi. They were freed by the Emancipation Proclamation when she was six months old. They continued to face restrictions and racism living in the post-Civil War South. But her parents taught her the importance of activism. Her father helped by starting a school for newly freed enslaved people. Ida studied and became a teacher and a journalist. She used her strong communication skills to call out unfairness and to bring attention to violence against black people. While living in Memphis, Tennessee, she wrote articles and traveled around the South gathering information about African-American people who had been hurt or lynched. Her newspaper office was attacked and destroyed by her truth-telling, and she was forced to move to the North. She continued to write and work for an end to violence against Black people and led a protest in Washington, D.C. in 1898. She formed a national association of colored women and helped found the NAACP, which is still active today. Ida B. Wells, a great African-American achiever. Garrett Morgan. Garrett Morgan, the son of former slaves, was born on March 4th, 1877 in Paris, Kentucky. He attended elementary school in Kentucky, but he spent most of his time working on his parents' farm. As a teenager, Morgan moved to Ohio, where he hired a personal tutor and worked a different job to support himself. Garrett Morgan became a very successful businessman who owned a sewing machine repair company, a tailoring company, a line of personal grooming items, and a newspaper company. He is best known for his inventions. In 1916, Garrett Morgan made national news for using his gas mask invention to rescue 32 men trapped during an explosion in an underground tunnel 250 feet beneath Lake Erie. In 1923, Garrett Morgan got a patent for his invention of the three-position traffic signal. Though Morgan's was not the first traffic signal, his traffic signal added the yellow warning signal. This signal let drivers and pedestrians know the light was changing from green to red. By having a third position besides just stop and go, it prevented accidents and saved lives. He blazed a trail for African-American inventors with these and many more inventions. He died on July 27, 1963. Garrett Morgan, a great African-American achiever.